Welcome back. As technology improves and gas prices continue to inch upward, some people are considering buying an all-electric vehicle. But there are a lot of confusing terms like PHEVs and EVs and what about charging your car? It all adds up to the question, is an electric car right for you? We asked our Mark Kane to help us sort it all out. It's only on News 3. The first thing that strikes you when you drive an electric car is how quiet they are and fast. There are now 40 vehicles on the market with various degrees of all-electric driving. PHEVs can run on all-electric power for a certain number of miles, usually under 75, before a gasoline engine takes over. So in theory, they have an unlimited range as long as you keep filling up the gas tank. So all you do is just... Then there are EVs. They are totally electric. Battery power only. When the juice runs out, you stop moving forward. Five manufacturers sell new EVs in Wisconsin, from Tesla to Jaguar to BMW, plus the more affordable Chevy Bolt and the redesigned Nissan Leaf. The Leaf can go 151 miles on a charge you need to plan ahead. Three key issues with electric cars right now. It's range, how far can you go on a charge? It's charge time, how long it takes you to recharge that battery. And the final one is cost, because batteries are still very expensive. This top of the line 2018 LEAF is $38,500. It starts around $30,000, not including tax breaks and rebates, which can run into the thousands of dollars. But the cost doesn't matter much if the car isn't practical. Ridesanddrives.com editor and News 3 auto expert Harvey Briggs says these cars are getting better at that. You know, if I live inside the Beltline here in Madison and I drive it to work downtown and back, you, yeah, you're going to be able to drive this car 99, 95% of the time. But if you have kids and you've got soccer tournaments out of town and you're doing weekend trips down to Chicago and all that other stuff, well, now you're going to want to have either a hybrid uh, range extended gas car, uh, electric car, or, you know, a second car that's just a gas car. Madison Gas and Electric has a new Chevy Bolt, the one with the use no gas license plate. It gets 238 miles on a charge. Connect it. And card beeps? Card beeps. And this lights up to show you your charging. Couldn't be much easier, could it? It's very easy. Debbie Branson is the voice behind MG&E's EV Rider program. Her job is to take the mystery out of electric vehicles, including demonstration of the company's fast charging stations. Does it intentionally look like a gas pump? It does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes people feel better. <laughs> There are 50 public charging stations in Madison right now. MG&E owns 29, but 80% of EV charging happens at home. You could just plug your car into a standard outlet. If you've got like an all electric, like this is a 60 kilowatt hour, so that could take you 50 hours <laughs> on level one. <laughs> So you'll need to install a level 2 charger in your garage. It's 240 volts, like your dryer. So you need to hire an electrician and buy a charger for about $500, or you can take advantage of MG&E's Charge at Home program. We install it, we own it, and we maintain it. So for customers, if they're a little like, what do I need to do, how much does it cost, this is a way for us to kind of manage the whole process from start to finish. And then they pay about $20 a month. Then they have, but plus they have to pay the cost of electricity. Which off peak is 10 cents an hour if you sign up for a special program. That's about two dollars a charge, 50 percent cheaper than gas right now. That's appealing to a lot of people. And we move from the early adopters who are buying it really because I think they like the technology, they found it interesting, to mainstream drivers that just like people like the look of a Tesla. They like that it's fast. If you're going to buy a new vehicle, it's another option to consider. You just need to think about how you're going to charge it instead of going to the gas station. And how you're going to drive and where you have to drive. Right. It's just modifying one's behavior. You just pull it in the garage, plug it in every night automatically. You plug in your cell phone, plug in your car. Exactly. It's no different than that type of behavior. In Madison, I'm Mark Kane, WISC News 3. Well, that's pretty interesting. And then more and more businesses are installing free chargers for their employees, and some area businesses also provi provide free hookups. Otherwise, MG&E charges $2 an hour at its charging stations. You can learn more about EVS and the location of charging stations in Dane County at energy2030together.com slash EV Rider. All right, let's get to Gary now.